True story. There once was a little boy that went through hell but came out of heaven. This same little boy lost his mom at only four years old. Can you imagine growing up without the love from one's mother? That once was a little boy who was raised by a mentally abusive stepmom. She destroyed all of his self-esteem. This same little boy was not only getting bullied inside of his home, he was getting bullied outside as well. That once was a little boy who found himself running from the bullies, running from the bullies, got caught, picked him up and body slammed him, boom! Punched him in the stomach, punched him in the stomach, drug him to a swimming pool, held him up under the water. And at the last second, they pulled him out. He thought he was gonna die. That same little boy struggled with inner demons. The same little boy had to find a way to overcome everything that he was dealing with in his life. By the time he got to high school, no one knew who he was. The same little boy found himself as a teenager, hanging with the wrong crowd, started selling crack cocaine, which was never who he was, but he found himself with the wrong circle and he succumbed to everything that they were doing. The same little boy had four babies out of wedlock, had no money, nothing to give them, no way to raise them. But this little boy prayed to God for a change to come into his life. And the same little boy woke up one day, a changed person. No longer a little boy, but now a young adult decided to take responsibility. He took his four kids in, just like his father had did for him when his mom passed away. And with a different mentality and a different mindset, his whole life became centered around making sure he kept them out of harm's way. It was a struggle because he had made so many mistakes in the past and dug this deep hole that he had to slowly climb his way out of. This same little boy found a way to get those kids raised even though he looks back and has no idea of how he did it. In the process, started mentoring kids, coaching basketball, coaching his kids and other kids. And one day found himself a business owner. Through all the ups and downs, the highs and lows, that same little boy eventually became a highly successful business person. And I tell you this story because you may see a lot of yourself in everything that that little boy went through. I tell you this story to let you know that I speak from experience. Because that little boy was me. And if I can do it, and if I can go through all of the drama, all of the setbacks, all of the failures, all of the hardships that I endured in my life, and come out on the other side, I promise you, you can too. You can take whatever you're dealing with now or whatever demons you had in the past and you can throw them all out the window of your life, throw them in the trash can of your life and start your trek to next level success, start your trek to next level greatness, start your trek to loving yourself because self-love is the best love. But I want you to understand that no matter what you've been through, if you're still breathing, you still have an opportunity to be achieving. So never ever quit on yourself, never ever quit on your dreams, never ever quit on your aspirations. Because this little boy never ever did. And if you see yourself, a piece of yourself in what I went through, just know 
you can overcome too. And you can climb over the hump and you can put yourself in a position to emerge victorious. <laughs>